So as many of you may have heard, the UK has been battered by heavy rain and strong winds recently. And that's all been the result of Storm Desmond, this great swirling mass of cloud you see here behind me. In fact, Desmond has been the fourth named storm of the season by the Met Office and has brought heavy rain and strong winds to much of the UK. In fact, 70 to 80 mile per hour gusts to Northern England and Scotland. But it's been the rainfall that's been of real concern. The Met Office actually issued a red weather warning for the rain and that's the first time one of those has been issued for about two years. Many locations across Northern Britain received almost two months worth of rain in 24 hours. Desmond itself has remained well to the north of the UK, centred over Iceland, but it's been this trailing weather front that's been a real problem. To the south of this weather front, southwesterly winds have been transporting warm, moist, humid air with its source region in the Caribbean towards the UK, and that's what's resulted in the heavy rainfall that we've been seeing. This is what's known as an atmospheric river, and this is essentially a very uh, narrow band of moisture transport in a region of the atmosphere. In our case, over the last few days, there's been a significant atmospheric river set up over the North Atlantic, transporting warm, moist air from the Caribbean across the North Atlantic towards the UK. So we've got our source region of moisture, and what we need now is a trigger mechanism. In our case, that's the rugged topography of the Scottish Highlands and the Cumbrian Fells. As moisture is forced to rise over the um, topography, it has to cool, condense, and form precipitation. And this actually results in a relatively steady build of pre precipitation that can ultimately result in significant accumulations. Finally, we see a graphic of the 24 hour rainfall up to 10.45 on Sunday. There are significant rainfall accumulations over the Scottish Highlands, the Cumbrian Fells and Northern Wales. And in over Cumbrian Fells we see almost 200 millimetres of rain in 24 hours. Uh, these are, this has been falling over ground that's already saturated as well in rugged topography that funnels the water rapidly into rivers and these can both exacerbate flooding problems. In fact, in one location, Honiston, in uh, the Lake District, almost 350 millimetres of rain was recorded in 24 hours and that could be a new UK record. Over to Scott Duncan. Thanks very much Richard, but unfortunately in this forecast is more of the same, which includes strong winds, heavy rain and will be feeling very warm for December. So we can see Storm Desmond is now tracking its way over Scandinavia. Meanwhile in the UK we can see a ridge of high pressure developing over us which basically means things are being more settled and gives us a brief respite from all that wind and rain we've had recently. But unfortunately that respite is short lived as we can see another area of low pressure developing in the Atlantic. And if we jump ahead to this morning we can see that that area of low pressure developed quite rapidly and the isobars really packed together quite closely which means stronger winds and more rain. It will also be drying in very warm air from the southwest, which basically will make it feel much warmer than it should for this time of the year. The Met Office are obviously keeping a close eye on the more rain that will be falling in those places that have seen all the flooding, so they've already got an early warning. So this afternoon we can see that it's going to be drier and brighter for the Reading area before the rain comes in from the west, and maximum temperatures could get up to around 12 or 13 degrees Celsius. But as we head into Tuesday, we can see that that area of low pressure is going to hang around Iceland and keep that pressure going quite tight over the Atlantic, which basically means we're going to have a strong westerly wind driving in more bands of rain and more showery activity. So for the Reading area on Tuesday, after a band of rain passing through in the morning, it will be drier and brighter in the afternoon with the odd shower and maximum temperatures around 12 or 13 degrees Celsius. Heading into Wednesday, we can see that that area of low pressure kind of hangs around again off the northwest of Scotland with another area of high pressure down off the southeast of the country over the continental Europe and basically those two combined makes a pressure gradient right across the country which basically means more strong winds and more weather fronts getting trained along us and more rain. So the north of the country again getting battered by more weather fronts which is really not useful as the amount of rain they've already had. Again the south of the country chiefly going to be dominated by more drier and brighter conditions and maximum temperatures again around 12 degrees Celsius. Heading into Thursday we can see that that area of low pressure kind of slips a little bit further south, dragging a more northwesterly component. So the north of the country could feel a little bit cooler, but again, the south of the country is going to be staying much warmer. And we can see that on the weather map, that there's going to be a few wintry showers over the hills of Scotland. And that weather front should get pushed further south across the Reading area, which will have more prolonged rain, but nothing too substantial. So in summary, we can see that it's going to be remaining unsettled. There is plenty of wind in the forecast, all coming from the southwest. So the maximum temperatures are really going to be above the average for the time of the year and the minimum temperature is not dipping it down anything too significant so if you are heading out make sure you grab your umbrella but be careful when you use it as it could be quite windy. Reading uni weather.